Borada, welcome to This Is Sevens, the new channel sharing Sevens knowledge for anyone and everyone looking to improve their game. We've put together a quarantine skill school for you to practice during isolation, so let's get into it. The majority of times in sevens, you're running at high speed and having to pass the ball large distances. Here's some tips and drills that I use while on the World Series. Firstly, let's look at catching the ball while running at pace. Personally, I like to keep my outside arm up. This gives a target to the ball passer. It also leaves my free arm to keep pumping so I can maintain my speed. So we still want an early catch. So as the ball's in flight, you can bring your free arm up to meet the ball. It's also a great opportunity here to scan your own attack and check the defence. You can get a lot of answers before you even touch the ball. So you can practice this catch with a partner. Start off statically side by side, passing the ball back and forth. Once you're happy with that, take it into a jog and finally into a run. So the key point is to have your outside hand up and as the ball's in flight, bring in your other hand to get a nice early catch on the ball. Now we've caught the ball, we want to work on our movement pre-pass. We still want to take steps forward to fix the defender before powering off our inside leg to pass the ball. So the benefit of stepping as we're passing the ball is going to give us the power to pass further distances. It's going to put us in the right position to check the covering defender and give us a head start either going to the next contact area or hopefully an offload. Set your cones up like this, the two orange cones are to encourage us to move forward to fix the defender and then we have a blue and a white cone ready to step towards. So follow through is massive to pass large distances. Everything we do with our hands wants to be going straight to the target without any rotation. For this drill, start with the ball on one hip and then drive through with that hand towards the target. Once you're happy off both hands, turn so you're standing sideways next to a partner and repeat the drill. Once you're happy with your right hand, move on to your left hand. Twisting the upper body is an easy way to add power, but will reduce your accuracy when you're trying to run at pace. Now let's move on to passing with two hands. Your back hand should still be providing the power going towards the target, with your second hand being an additional guide. This final drill with a marker on a wall is a good gauge for you to get a feel of how far you need to pull back when you're walking and passing, jogging and running. If you've enjoyed the video, like and subscribe.